Happy Sunday. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. It's been hot, unbearable. It's hard to find adjectives to describe how hot it is outside, but here is a way to look at what's happening across South Texas. If you see what's painted in orange, these are heat advisories that are in effect until 8 o'clock later on this afternoon. Out to the north where it's painted pink, these are severe thunderstorm watches where you can see some thunderstorm complex starting to form just along I-35 near San Antonio, or at least north of San Antonio in Austin and parts near Waco and Colleen. But here in town, yeah, heat advisories in effect until about 8 o'clock tonight uh, where heat indices could reach as high as 115 and uh, the current heat index is around 113, so if you're heading out for any uh, Sunday night plans for a Sunday dinner, it's hot out there. It's pretty humid as well. High temperature of 97 degrees was recorded earlier this afternoon, just a couple hours ago, which is well above average, but this big number is actually a record high. Hit the record, or at least beat the record, set back in 1948 of 96 degrees. So a mini heat wave is on our hands, and we're still dealing with the heat tonight. As I mentioned, if you have plans tonight, hot and humid temperatures in the uh, upper 80s, low to mid 90s uh, throughout the next few hours and slowly cooling down into the low 80s as an overnight low. Now temperatures right now, triple digits out west, 105 in Hebronville, 103 in Falfuris, 102 in Beeville. So pretty much west of 77 is where they're feeling more of the heat and also the heat index. When you tag on humidity, it's feeling like 110 here in town, 116 in, over in Falfuris and 111 in, over in Kingsville. So these are pretty uh, tragic numbers to to be really honest with you and uh, the heat is staying with us for the end of the weekend. But good news, we have a front on the way and that's going to help regulate things and also keep temperatures slightly near normal as we head into next week as well. So southeast wind, slight breeze out there. So good news, some relief out across the area, but not much. And we'll see things die down a little bit and then watch what happens by around six and seven tomorrow morning. A northerly wind all in, response, uh, all in response to another front that's on the way. And more on that in just a moment. But you can see it's a little busy out in parts of North Texas near DFW going down I-35 in Austin. Uh, and some of these uh, complex are holding together. These thunderstorms are holding together off a boundary that's in the panhandle right now. And also some good energy working out from the west near Big Ben, also into Del Rio, Valverde County, and along the Rio Grande. We'll watch some of this actually work into the coastal bend more isolated activity than anything as we get into tomorrow morning and as well as tomorrow afternoon. The bullseye where they're expecting more widespread heavy severe weather is more north of San Antonio as you get into the hill country, I-35 Austin and also into Dallas and Fort Worth. But here in town, we'll, we'll show you what we expect. Mostly cloudy overnight and also some sun for the first day of the work week. Uh, not expecting a lot of uh, activity, but as you can see around 9, 10 and also 11 tomorrow morning, isolated pockets of downpours and that's going to continue throughout the day tomorrow. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be quiet, a little more cloud cover, but some pockets of areas like near Foul Furious, Kingsville, Robstown and Mathis could experience a brief downpour in this forecast. So Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday will be our best shot. But as I mentioned, only an isolated chance at seeing a storm or even a shower. So also good news, a front that's coming through that's going to trigger some of these showers uh, brings things down from 99 this afternoon to 94 on Monday and to 89 on Tuesday. So we'll take what we can get as far as slightly cooler weather, but here's the seven day. Uh, yeah, rain chances from tomorrow into Wednesday and then clearing out nicely by Thursday and Friday. So near 100 today and near 89 on Tuesday. Wow. So uh, better weather is on the way, yeah. I promise. <laughs> okay, already hitting the triple digits. Almost. Already and it's yeah. summer, it's June, so uh, we'll take what we can get. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan. And Travis Green is up next with sports.